I do not like that. I do not like that at all. I'm about to, okay. So, yo, 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 what is good? What is good, everybody? Yo, DE, I know you were not too thrilled with the question. Good brother, we about to get into it. And it's just going to have to stay like that. That's just going to have to stay like that. Yo, 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 what is up? What is up? What is up? You know what? Go ahead, Ronnie. Go ahead and kick us off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! No Roman reason here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Tonight, Fourth and Zero proudly brings to you another podcast. Devin, Sean, Ronnie, we got about an hour and a half, good hour and a half, and some good topics to talk about. Stick around, grab popcorn if you would like to. Drop the comments down below if you want us to talk about something. We'll get to them if we can. Sean's a busy man. Oh yeah. Welcome in and uh, enjoy the ride. Yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man, for another episode. We really about to get right into it. So we actually got a lot today. We have we're gonna cover WrestleMania. We're going to cover both men and women's uh championship games. That was actually an interesting game. We're gonna cover some we'll cover some basketball. I think actually we'll cover the play in. Yeah. We'll cover the play in. Tonight, just uh, some quick scenarios because we actually got that on the screen right now. We ha- we have a game going tonight, and then did I say football? There's not too much going on in football. Um, your boy, well, because we did well, we covered it last week, That's but I guess true. we'll do some updated. But I know your man's retired yet yeah, today or okay, yesterday. Ryan. Yeah, your man's retired, so we'll definitely get into some football. Hold up, De said, "Oh my goodness, the fellas have actual fits on today. No weak ass." Fishing fits. That's true. <laughs> no trucker has to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what about the Masters odds? Yeah, we'll cover that, yeah. too. We'll cover that, too. I I don't know about y'all. I feel like a long week. Because it, it used to be when it was football, the weeks used to go by fast. Oh, I know. We'd be like, oh, we got to hurry up to Sunday. Yeah. Now it's just like, yeah, it's kind of dragging. Yeah. So now I'm like, dang, these weeks just be... Yeah, it really do feel like they drag. Yeah. But... D.E., I know you sounding off in the comment section right now with the question that I put. So, fellas, we're going to do another one has to go, but we'll do football, and then next week we'll do some basketball because I got I got a bunch of questions for basketball. So, fellas, one has to go. We'll start. We'll do Jordan Love, Justin Herbert, C.J. Stroud, Joe Burrow. Man, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, based off a of sample size, I'll just Jordan Love. I, like to I, me, it, I'm not getting rid of the, any of the, anyone else. In uh, <laughs> I know Burrow is probably the popular. Pick. So right now, uh, with three votes so far, what's up? Oh, uh, Herbo. Would you say? Would you? Oh, who is so, so right now, out of the three votes, we have two for Jordan Love and one for Herbo. Yeah, yeah. you have to. The sample size is big enough. I'm not taking. I'm not getting rid of a guy that forty touchdowns. Get get Bo out of play. No, I'm playing. No, we gonna keep. No, I said bro. No, but I was I was trolling. I was trolling. Yeah, Herbert put up forty one year. Like I said, you have a Super Bowl quarterback, not winning, but went to the Super Bowl. Um, rookie of the year. What you have to get rid of? Love. There's really not. It's like you can't. They're all good, but you, if you have to right. Pick, who would you pick? My fault. My fault. You chat. My fault. Chat. Getting the other. Getting the other game pulled up right now. My fault. My fault. We are. We are back well, now. If I was building a team right now, and you told me to pick someone, I'd probably pick Herbert if I had to get him around. Mm, okay, so actually that that's interesting. So we have two two um I'm sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Everyone's picking Jordan Love right now. Yeah. Three votes, Jordan Love, one vote, Jay Herbo. I think he figured it out, but like also the beginning of that season last year, he mm-hmm. just left a sour taste in my mouth and did not start off right. Um thank you, Miles, for tuning in, big dog. And I do apologize, chat. This is a protein shake. So D said Herbert is on the Chargers. They won't ever do ish. 
man, at least love is on the Packers. Well, yeah, that's true. I think it. Go ahead. Go ahead. New head coach. New head coach. New head coach. I, I just think. I, I just think that like right now, Herbert has always had superstars. It's just injuries. So, which would understand that it would make more sense to go with Herbert over Love. He's very rarely had Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, right. at the same time, 100% healthy. Right. Uh, Eckler gets beat up. He's gone now anyway. But, like, yeah, he's not really had the field of talent that he needs to succeed. So, I would. But no one expected Love to get as far as he did. That too. And then. And he's really not working with a lot either. He's working with he the receivers. Work, I mean, if we had to compare apples to orange, I mean, what uh, Love had to deal with in Herbert, you probably pick Love over Herbert. Yeah, I mean, I. That's what Elias just mentioned to him, and he said draft, but like Herbert has no one right now. They got to start drafting people, right? Guys. So, um, yeah, Keenan's gone, Mike Williams is gone, right? So, uh, gone. right. With that being said, I probably pick um, I probably go ahead and pick. I go with Herbert if I had to get rid of one. But if you're starting a team and your team is stacked around you, that's the way I always look at these. Like you got to get rid of one, but you're like. You would pick them to like lead your team next year for one year with a solid team around them. Who would you get rid of? Mm. And that kicks up like would you love? Did you get rid of who you pick? Yeah, that's another one. Who would you pick to lead your team next year? <laughs> with like a Pro Bowl roster around them. This might sound biased, but that man got them Cowboys up out of there. Yeah. Then- Almost did. Almost doesn't count. He though. made a rookie. Well, it was a rookie mistake. It was like a Brett Favre across mistake. the body gunslinger throw. They made it two quarters earlier, would have been fine. Yeah, they could have recovered from that. They right. really ran out of time. Right. right, which is kind of the best. Way to put it. I wouldn't put that more so on a quarterback. I would say that's more of a team thing. But I mean, that's just me. But I'm gonna get cooked regardless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get cooked right. Um, I don't know. I just who has more upside right now between those two quarterbacks? Between Herbert and Love. I love. Maybe upside. I mean, you kind of know what you have with Herbert right now. Maybe upside would be Love, but I don't know. I just there's just a lot of talent in Herbert. I mean, he doesn't make a ton of mistakes. Right. He's just stuck on a bad team. Mm-hmm. Like he said so. I. I don't know. I mean, I, I would personally say yelling in the mic. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was yelling in the mic. Got to put the mic down. Um, But to stay on topic, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Herbert. Not like a wrong answer. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's all like, obviously we said it's really close. So. Right. Bill and Cowan. Are you watching the Mason one? I think I said. This is the Orioles channel. Okay. Um, I do apologize, y'all. Sorry. Had another tab open. Okay. So, I was just reading the chat between... All right, so D E said Herbert, yeah, he's on the okay, sorry. Yeah, he's playing uh, okay, talking about Tiger Woods playing. Oh, Herbert is the second coming of Philip Rivers. So can we actually say that that would probably be Josh Allen? Yeah. I would say Herbert falls under if we were to do a former so if if Josh Allen is to Philip Rivers, Justin Herbert would be y'all y'all following along with him? Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of career trajectory. I would say talent wise, uh, I can't say Drew Brees. I almost bro, said, I because I was almost, thinking that, yeah. but, but I'm like, well, how long did it take for Brees to win a chip? I mean, it took. He started a, with the Chargers too, which is it ironic. Took, it took a, it took him a minute, but I don't want to dis. I mean. I'm, I don't want to disrespect them because there's just he's... a lot of talent in, in those. Right, like, there's right. Which Philip Rivers had talent too, but like I would. Okay, my, my fault. No, I, right. I didn't mean to call you. All right, so D he actually agrees. True. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I was. It makes uh, sense. Yeah. 
I'm glad you brought it up. I didn't want to be controversial and say it, but no, 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 no. I was saying like because um, her, uh, DE said that Herbert is the second coming of Philip Rivers, and then I said Josh Allen is more <clears> to <throat> Philip Rivers. So if we were to compare current to past, I would say if Allen is to Philip Rivers, then I would say Justin Herbert is to Drew Brees. If you were to compare quarterbacks okay. then and now, yeah. Yeah, because it's like Allen right now is at the peak where they do have similar play styles to an extent, very physical uh, at the quarterback position, but he keeps coming up short. Philip Rivers always came up short. I think Herbert's kind of biding his time because you remember, like you said with Breeze, it took him a while to get oh, yeah. the chip. So I think it could be the and, same thing. And Breeze had people around him he too, did. Yeah, just was... like Herbert. But then he did go through a time where they were shifting people, yeah. just like Herbert. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he would make that push. Maybe it's not in um, L.A. Maybe he goes somewhere else. Right. I can see that too. I don't. Right. I don't think he's gonna be there forever. I don't think he's like a long, like fifteen twenty year guy there. But we'll see. Miles said Drew Brees is a good QB. Granted, only won one, but he was still solid. Yeah, yeah. You could watch his games. For, oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His crazy. One one thing about like one thing about the quarterbacks back in the day, all their games were timeless. Yeah, like it didn't matter. Like their bad games, like they're even though their bad games were they were bad. If if you would have Brees game on from like 2013 right now, where oh he yeah, was going stupid, I would probably just keep watching. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there was nothing. Nothing about him that was that was mid. He was yeah, crazy. How many picks do the Chargers have? A lot. I'm joking. Actually, I, I do not know specifically. Let me look. They are. They pick fifth, I think. Go back because we don't can't hold a football anymore. Facts. Yeah, I physically cannot hold a football. Right. His body broke down. Yeah. He said it. It was so bad he couldn't even lift his shoulder. We're we talking about Drew Brees, or. Mm-hmm. I think so because he's had shoulder. He always yeah, had yeah, shoulder yeah. problems. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because I remember he said like he, he was um in the backyard with his kids and he had to throw left handed. Yeah. Because he couldn't. Yes, even, I remember seeing yeah, that too. He yeah. couldn't even lift his right hand. I'm like, damn. Getting any for a baseball player? Cut a crop there. Yeah. You see his throat, like his uh, motion by his ear. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay, so. Yes. So, D.E., hey, the Chargers the have the fifth pick. They also have the... They have the fifth pick. They were mid last year, but just faced two bad teams. And... Yeah, they just have the fifth pick right now. But how many picks in the draft? I'm not entirely I sure. I don't think they have... Well, they, they have got one from Shane. They probably got one from Chicago for uh, unless it wasn't this year for uh, Keenan Allen. What the fuck? They have nine. That's tough. Hold up, Miles. Would you would y'all say was the best uh, QB uh, generation of QBs? I think so because uh, you had. Hold on, hold on, my fault. Okay. He said the the eighties and nineties or the two oh. thousands to the two thousand tens. He said he would he would say our generation from two thousand to two thousand ten. I would too. The level of play was higher too, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I think so. I think there was just more. The offenses obviously clicked a little higher. I would rather watch our generation compared to the eighties. Yeah, there's a yeah. I mean, I'm not taking anything away. You had Elway, uh, Aikman, Marino, um, uh, Steve Young from Joe Montana to Steve Young, Randall Cunningham. I don't know. I just feel like. Dude, we had yeah, keep, keep going because there's a lot. I know Breeze, <laughs> Manny, Rivers, um, yeah, boy. Brady. Um, who else? Uh, the other, the other Manny. Can which, we? Can we? Got a yeah, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre. I mean, those are. Will we go as far as to yeah. say put that man, uh, that former Bronco Jay Cutler up there? I mean, we got to give Bronco Jay Cutler some credit because that you is- have to. There was something there. He he, I mean, he cared about not, it. not Chicago Jay Cutler, but Bronco you know what's crazy? Jay? Even Chicago Jay Cutler doesn't get enough respect. He was not bad for them. He didn't care, but he wasn't bad. For I them. mean, look at they had Matt Forte, Brandon Marshall, Devin Hester. I mean, they had some folks. Who was that? Uh, Ocean Olsen. Muhammad? Yeah, Ocean yeah. Muhammad on his, like, last leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But then Denver. Mm, Kurt Warner. Yeah, Kurt Warner too. And then Big Ben. We have like two days of match. <laughs> I'll never forget. Maybe like interested in the Texans just for that one year. We had two days of Matt Shaw, Kurt Vic. Warner, <laughs> Vic. Man, I, that was my... Donovan McNabb. I am. So... Oh yeah, no, you good? Yeah, okay. I'm good. just saying. I never that got beat, but that will forever. I think that will forever be my favorite Philly team. Even though this Philly team won a Super Bowl, that will forever be my favorite Philly team. Vic, Deshaun, Shady, that was fun. Mack, it was fun to watch him. Brent yeah. Selly, bro, work. That was my favorite Philly team. That was fun to watch it. Um, D said, Brandon Marshall. <laughs> yeah, what a blast from the past. Yeah, when Bro played for um Chicago. Yeah. Well, then, in, yeah, because Denver, he had Brandon Marshall. He had Eddie Royal. Yep. Uh, Brandon Lloyd. Um, yeah, he no had Sean weapons. Marino. No Sean, like, too. Yeah. Geez. He got Lawrence Moroni, I think. Yeah, Lawrence Moore. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, what a, what a time. But oh. going... I don't mean to cut you off. Going back to what D said, so he was talking about um, since they had nine picks in the draft, he said that Marvin Harrison Jr. could slip to them if the cards don't take him. Yes, that would be the consensus ideal. pick. Yeah, yeah that'd be an ideal situation. Now there's uh, Malik is up there too. Um, Ryan Thomas Jr. There's, I mean, there's wide receivers in this draft. The, the draft is deep. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. So I mean, they have the opportunity to get him. But a lot of teams want receivers, so it's just right. depending on what, what happens. Right, 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 right. But go. All right, so <laughs> going back to what we was going, we was going to knock out WrestleMania. So we will, we will def, definitely follow back on football. Yes. So overall, WrestleMania. Um, Devin, how much of WrestleMania did you watch? Did you? He was at my house for the main event. So. Yeah. So just the second day? No, no, just the it was the first day. Oh, first yeah, day? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got um, you. What? Yeah, what do you want? To, I mean, we don't have to cover the whole thing. But no, 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 no. Game. So overall, because I know we talked about it a little bit. Overall, how do chat if you watch WrestleMania two? How I almost said two. <laughs> <laughs> if you if anybody watched WrestleMania, what was your overall thoughts like? Uh, was it bad? Was it good? Was there certain things that they could have did? Did y'all like the outcome? Did I mean, I feel bad for Drew McIntyre. He is the butt end of this company, but I'll let He, he is, forward. but so the overall like vibe from this WrestleMania, I feel like it was more mainstream than it's been in a long time. Right. We had a lot of people that were like tuned in. Like I was looking at accounts that never talked about wrestling. I'm like, oh, he's on the uh, Shout out Philly. Yes, it was in Philly. I'm telling y'all, y'all when y'all gonna respect Philly? I mean, Philly. you had this; these two nights had yes. Wayne, Jason Kelsey, Lane, uh, Lane Johnson. Shout out! Um, I show speed, which did, is like man, bump speed. Did you show? <laughs> did you show Devin? What, what happened at WrestleMania? No, the oh. Lane Johnson and yeah, yeah. No, so he was on the oh. way because he was like, oh, I'm not like I don't care about WrestleMania. I was like, you just missed like he was like ten minutes around. I was like, you just missed Lane Johnson. Bro, and Jason. I was geeked in was the like, chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lane? Yeah, he's a big dude. Big, big dude. Come on, dog. <laughs> he's like, he's not like fat. That dude's just big. lean. Yeah, he's lean. Yeah. He's just a, some people are like, yes, he has like weight on him, but he's just big. Like, mm-hmm. There's nothing he can do. He's just big. Um, I saw, yeah, when the, uh, Kells threw Dominic into yeah. the post. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah the go in like, there. Gonna be? Yeah. yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Right. Then, then I saw the other dude. I'm like, well, I can see the bald head. And I'm like, there's a goatee. I'm like, yeah. that's got to be Lane Johnson. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, uh, Ray Mysterio with the Philadelphia Eagles mask. Yes. And yeah, shout yeah, out, yeah. And shout out to Philly. I saw him in there with the cheerleaders and the yeah. mascot in there. <laughs> yeah, it was a good old time in Philly. Um, no, I, I will say too that. Well, the Philadelphia, Philadelphia wrestling's big in Philly, so that helped a lot. The right. atmosphere was good. The crowd was good. It, it, like the, the overall vibe for WrestleMania, I loved it. Mm. I thought it was like one of the better ones in recent times. But, um, and actually, uh, D agrees. He said the ending might be the greatest moment in Mania ever. I think so. Yeah. You don't have to like Cody Rhodes. That's fine. But like mm-hmm. the fact they continue the story, finish the story, 
they continued a story for like a year and a half, two years, right? And it ended right there, like perfectly. It couldn't have been any better, right? So. Right. Miles agrees too. The ending was phenomenal. Couldn't ask for a better ending. And we knew it was gonna get crazy. Like I, they they kept saying, like, oh yeah, they're gonna have, you know, a bunch of like spots come in and everything. It did, but it all worked perfectly because right. the pop was crazy for everyone. Right. So. I agree. I agree. Overall, I think I think it was good. Um, I was talking to Miles in the group chat. Um, besides just having our own, not our own personal bias, but just like the direction of where wrestling is going, um, that did, it was just a tad bit predictable, but I'm not going to take, like, not let my personal stuff take away from the overall event. Cause overall yeah. it was, you, you couldn't have asked for a better WrestleMania. No, absolutely not. The thing is too, with, um, with that WrestleMania, it was like, it did feel different. Like I felt something in the air where I'm like. This could not get to Attitude Era levels. Like, I don't think we're going to see mainstream everywhere 24-7. But, like, it gave me a vibe where I'm like, okay, like, we could get casual people back into this and they're going to, like, vibe out with it. You know what I mean? It, mm. felt, it felt good. Actually, don't mean to Kanye you. Yeah. Miles dropped a ESPN bomb in the chat. Drew Holiday got a four-year, 135 mil extension. No, nah, you good. That's some, uh... uh with them Celtics? Uh, uh, he's getting up there. I don't. Oh my, f- bro! You kept Marcus Smart and bro Brody was how old? Well, he was. I mean, we had him since twenty fourteen. But word that I don't mind it because he's been really Al Horford. Sport. Yeah, but it's Al Horford. He's like timeless. You can't get bro. You can't move the goalposts. <laughs> he's timeless. There's a difference. Drew Holiday is timeless. That's a big, that's a big point. Who are you going to get? That's $35 million per year. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Screw it. He's been great for us this year, so I'd... the team works with how the team works. So I'd... Who are you going to get? I know. Come I on, know. man. Oh, yo, this man. Right, we do miss Marcus Smart. Boston misses Marcus Smart. So, chat, I, I propose that we had a gaming channel. And I'm actually intrigued to see how Ronnie would run his team since man hates anybody over the age of 30. This man is a real rock. We gotta be mindful. We can sign over 30 guys with a young team. We need veteran leadership. Right? This man is a real Robert Kraft. I am really wanting. Look, I might fire up this gaming stream and let Ronnie do some uh, 2K and Madden Sims. I'm genuinely curious. I would have waited on that contract to see how the playoffs went. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have signed him. I think he likes Boston. He's been just fine. You would. If, if that was you, you would have not signed him to that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm over here talking into my cup and then the mic. Thank you. Thank you. We can when we cover basketball, we can touch it a little bit. All right. I will. I will wrap up WrestleMania a little bit. Um, I want everyone to or whoever is watching it cares. Drop the worst match and best match of night one and two combined. Worst match for me. We talked about it. The Oost. Oost the Oost, Oost. That was not Oos like that match was anything but that, Oosie. That match had on paper huge hype to it because it's like brother versus brother that in the building right the tag team for fifteen years. That match, they had zero chemistry. I told him, I said, for some, for two people that have been together since birth, mm-hmm. that was not that was not it. The super kick spot, that's not it. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and because D actually agreed with you on the Drew Holiday take. But first, he said, I didn't stay up for it. I only found out by watching someone I'm sub to, and I went on whole reaction montage. To it, there were people reacting from bars. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. And then going back to the Drew Holiday, yeah. he said Drew Holiday is kind of mid, and it was def it, but it definitely was overpay. It was an overpay. I'm not saying don't keep him because his defensive prowess or whatever you want to call it pays for itself. But you're paying for like, well, it's not his full job, but you're paying for like ten points. I, don't know. I it's, get it. Eh, I don't know. That's just, and it's a lot. If it was like two years, sixty million, I'd be like, cool. Right. It's a big bag. Um, 
Right. And Miles agrees too. He said, "Yeah, that's too much for Drew." So he agrees. Miles said, um, "The Jade Bianca Naomi versus Damage Control was second bad." I actually like that one. I turned it off to be honest. I'm be wow, bad. I guess I was just down bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna keep it up, but the only women's match I watched, I watched the Becky Lynch and Rhea one. Yeah, which wasn't bad. It was good. Yeah, uh, Rhea's interest was good. And then, no, why did uh, Becky Lynch come out with a whole Budweiser fit? Was she sponsored? Red and, red and white. And yeah. Metal. Shorty was, Shorty must have had a sponsorship going because that was just the whole, like, she just took the whole logo off the bottle and just slapped it on the fit, dog. Put a bunch of them together. So yeah. Some Supreme wrapped that. But, yeah, it's, and I like I told uh, Sean before we started, I was like, they didn't really capitalize on Monday when they could have. They let The Rock and Cody talk for like an hour. Oh, yeah, when they switched. Bro, I hate it when they uh, switched titles. And then bro was like, oh, well, I'm going away for a while. Yeah. I'm like, Rock, your contract is up. He's like, oh, this story is just beginning, but, like, I'll see you later. I'm like, you're going to probably see him in a year when WrestleMania comes back. I'm like, man, hey, boy, if you don't. <laughs> and I will say, I'm surprised they didn't bring Roman Reigns out, but this dude, they gave him the championship when COVID started. Yeah. With no fans, no one cared about it. I up with it for like probably a year mm-hmm. and he carried that company to be fair no he did he, he did he did, he did. 100%, so i give him his flowers because he yeah he did a lot so and definitely um shout out hold on is your mic on wow hold on to my... oh what okay is it no, it's on. yeah it's on now damn i don't know if it was on the whole time no I, no, I it turned, was no i took well i turned it on okay i don't know what happened gotcha all right cool all right i don't know if anyone picked that up but um, no, nah, no, nah, they heard you because they heard the whole Drew. Oh, yeah, that's there. true. They so it must have been just, yeah. yeah. But anyway, to sum it up, Roman Reigns deserves flowers because he pretty much put that company on his back during the COVID years. So I will give him credit. Well, shout out to Roman. Hopefully, uh, your battle with uh, leukemia is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah hopefully. hopefully that doesn't, that's good. Yeah, that hopefully, yeah, because I'm pretty sure that he's just gonna take this time off now to go ahead and uh. Take care of that. So. They also gave him a Madden Ultimate Team card. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Nice. Because he played for Minnesota for like oh, yeah, 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 a couple yeah. months. But well, why does everybody play for Minnesota? That's Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Brock Lesnar did. Um, Shelton Benjamin was from uh, Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, Roman Reigns, Minnesota. I'm like, yo, what is what did is you see the, the tie? curse, too? It was, um, so they tweeted, Minnesota tweeted a picture of Roman when he had the outfit on. Mm-hmm. Or the uniform, and they said uh, we acknowledge the tribal chief. Yeah, he lost, and then Paige Fukers. Yeah, they tweeted a picture of her in an Adrian Peterson jersey, and we're like, yeah. "Good luck." They both lost. Yeah, so I, was like, Damn, I remember that. I was like, yeah. Ooh, was like, Ooh. stop tweeting, yeah. stop tweeting. Yeah, <clears throat> D said that he was glad Roman lost because there's absolutely no nobody anymore that can rival him. Think, so I just stopped watching. That's a good point. Cause like, okay, what if he lost? I'm like, who? And actually, Miles and I were talking about that too. I was like, "Well, who's going to carry the brand now?" Yeah, I know. Because, I mean, it, it was only interesting because the fact that he never lost. So no, exactly, yeah. So now we that keep track of that because I'd right. be like, "Oh, damn, he won again!" Right. So now it's just like I'm like, "Well, now what?" Yeah, I, <laughs> sort of thing. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, it, overall thoughts was it was a good WrestleMania. Yeah. I'm glad I watched it. Mm-hmm. I watch it every year, but right. Yeah, no, I I agree it as well. It was solid. Um, switching gears now. Let's talk about these uh good old college college teams, men and women's. Get that out the way real quick. So, both of my picks, or all of my picks, <laughs> were blown up. We we'll start with women's. How? No. Uh-huh. It was Iowa South Carolina Women's National Championship game averaged eighteen point seven million viewers. Oh damn. It's the most watched basketball game in five years at all levels. <laughs> um, Caitlin Clark effect. What so mean? this is definitely uh things to come with uh women's college basketball. Most of. Oh, you can thank Caitlin Clark. I mean oh, yeah. coach for South Carolina was like eight. Hey, Oh, yeah, gave her flowers, too. Yeah. See, me being a bad sport at the time, I would have been like, man, bump coach. I, I, I ain't listening to a word you're saying. But overall, I'm glad that she gave her flowers. She single-handedly yeah. ran college basketball. 
and a few other people who were on the rise too. Oh yeah, there was a lot of like names that got recognition this yeah. year that uh took over on the mainstream. So yeah, it was it's it was good for women's college basketball for sure. Right, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I saw that. Yeah, I remember her last year. She was rocking some Philly gear. I was like, oh, that's yeah, she's tough. <laughs> but yeah, you could tell that she's from Philly too. Mm-hmm. Overall, I think because Ronnie, I remember you asked a couple weeks ago, like, is the like the new transition of women's college basketball is it more of an agenda being pushed? I like to me, I truly think that this is the new norm. Yeah, because not a lot of people can name like as far as men's basketball, we could probably only name like four or five notable notable people but women's college basketball now is starting to come out with big names like sue bird back in the day yeah so so i'm thinking this is going to be that you know it finally came around full circle to where there's more comp uh more notable faces and it's actually entertaining to watch women's college basketball now 100 percent yeah it's i'm happy i mean more about like the more high level play of basketball the better so um, oh yeah, in my fault. Uh, yeah, Diana Taurasi. Uh, she yeah, she was a uh, she was hating from outside the club. She was yeah. calling out Caitlin and Angel. Yeah, it, and they were shitting on her too because they're like, yeah, she. I guess she's always done that. I didn't mm-hmm. know she's always been gatekeeping. Yeah, always. Yeah, it Which, always. She can never let somebody have their uh, fifteen minutes. She always got to bring the attention back on her. Which someone that's played as long as her. It's been around. You think she would start giving back? Nah, like, hell no. Almost like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, kind of like a Hulk Hogan. Thing. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not letting you get over on me. Right. Doesn't make sense. That man. golden, that work for me, the golden shovel that everyone thought that John Cena had, the all these other people have. Yes. So. John Cena's giving back now. Too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But bro never, bro never buried anybody. Like everybody accused him to be. And now it's crazy when he comes out, everyone goes crazy. Back in the day, it was like, nah, this dude. <laughs> Let's go, Cena. Cena yeah, sucks. That, yeah. Let's go, Cena. Yeah. It was weird when I got like, I hit a certain age where I like just stopped liking him. Because like when you're a kid, you're like, oh, John Cena's cool. And then I was like 12 or 13. I'm like, nah, I don't want to be. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was just like the switch. Yeah, he just never changed. That was the thing. If he would have went heel, everybody would have liked him. But he yeah. never went heel. He just would come out and then beat yeah. up like ten people in the ring. You're like that yeah. wasn't even that's not possible. Right. Like, yeah. He was just always he was just always face. Yeah. So then that that's what uh made it work. But D said that Diana was just um disgusted with the BS call against Yukon. Oh, okay. I didn't follow up, I just like I said, I saw she yeah. was Going off, I didn't know the specifics of it. Got you. Yeah, I just knew that. Uh, I just felt like it was just more bearing. Yeah. Of course. But switching over to the men's side, I'll be honest with you. That game was... Not particularly close. I think it was 40... It was like 56-42 in the second half. And I was like, yeah, this game's over. Yeah. And, and it never really... I think it probably started like that. I think like it was like an eight-point deficit for like half, over half the game so. my black ass came up here talking about some purdue was gonna win this is why i don't this is shut the hell up <laughs> Zach yeah, this I is like why i don't thing. bet because i always try to go with the upset and i'm upset the next day because <laughs> you know i'm just like hey the one time you know that some something might happen you know i'll just hang with the upset nah i should have just it's like betting. It's like betting against uh, Tom Brady or Mahomes now. <laughs> oh, bring that! Mom. God, no! Wait. But like, yeah, how many times this year did we say that they were not going to make the playoffs or that they were going to do this? I thought I, I thought Mans was going to get washed in the first round. Oh, I did too. Who who got washed? Philly. Funny how things happen. <laughs> the turns have tabled. <laughs> turns have the turns have tabled. But yeah, it wasn't really too much of a um, notable game for Purdue. But I know Zach Eady, he won the MVP, I believe. I, thought, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I, I thought he. I know he won something. Anyways, when he get, goes drafted, I think he'll be top, uh, number one pick in the NBA draft. Think so? 
Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I think there was something about it. I, what was it? I don't know. I think someone had said that he wasn't. Like, he would go first round, but I guess it wasn't going to be that high. I don't know. I mean. Oh, so he. So. What? <clears throat> Like, they like zoomed in on the picture and then cut up to home plate and zoomed in on the home plate and okay. nobody was there. <laughs> so he will be first round but not f- first pick. Got it. Okay. Um, I think he'll be top five pick. I mean, I think just how his game is, he's more of a traditional center. So it would just be interesting to see how his game transitions to the NBA. I think he'll be unfortunate. I mean, he's really just. I think he'll be more of a Joel and Bead mixed with a Luka Dantich. Not Luka, Jokic. Oh, yeah. But he's fundamental, so he does remind me of a tad bit of Tim Duncan in, in that regard. So I think he'll have, a, he'll have a high ceiling once he hits the NBA, in my opinion. It won't be like the Victor Wembanyama effect, yeah, but yeah. he'll he'll have a. I think it he'll have that a, for probably a little bit. But I think he'll have a long career in the NBA. But we definitely appreciate y'all tuning in to the to the pod. Definitely appreciate y'all. If you guys have any, uh, if y'all agree, disagree, just let me know. Um, Right now, we're just gonna going to go over into some. I think we could do baseball. We'll do baseball, and then we'll do some golf coverage because I know D was talking about it. As far as baseball now, talk about a clapping. Oh yeah, yeah. When um for the game, yeah, that it wasn't even close. It by far. I thought it was at least going to be. It it was. It competitive in like what the first ten minutes, and then afterwards, uh, when, UConn just took yeah. off. Purdue didn't even have the what? Hold up! Did, oh, they didn't even have the refs on their side. Yeah. <laughs> no, no ref ball today. This is just all uh, one sided. All one sided. Um, s- Switching over to baseball, your boy, I forget man's name. You just said it in the chat today. Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday. Okay. He's about to come up to bat. Oh, is he? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so he got the call finally after going stupid in AAA. Mm hmm. Like, stupid. Yeah. Like, did he send him down there to work on his left hand, like, pitching against or hitting against left handers? Didn't. First, yeah. First, like, at bat. Home run. Yeah, he went stupid. He was going. Yeah, he was Incoming stupid. drug test. <laughs> if anybody does that damn well, he looks he... like he's twelve. But what is he? Twenty now? Nineteen? Yeah, he's twenty. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, he's twenty. Um, he doesn't look like he's twelve. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? How's everyone's teams doing so far? Is is it a good um, start? Is it a you? You're so Philly. You switch between Philly and Arizona. I never know. Yeah, like numerous teams. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And the Giants, Giants, Giants do. Uh, so this man, the Giants suck. Phillies, they went off to a four and four start. Yeah. Um, in 2008. Are they six and four right now? No. When they won the World Series in 08? When they won yeah. the World Series in the 80s and in 08, uh-huh. they started four and four. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> I can already, I can already tell where this is going. Uh, oh brother this guy's <laughs> damn boy uh, they are 6-4 DE how is your team doing so far good sir are, is your team off to a good start or are you ready for next season to start Just, some teams are the Marlins definitely are oh yeah, yeah no. he's a Pittsburgh fan um, I want to double check because I know he's a Steelers fan I don't know if uh, a fan? you're right Pirates are doing good still. Oh yeah, yes. Seven and three. Yeah. Atlanta seven and three. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee seven and three. Dang. Chicago them, seven and three. Them Dodgers is ten and five right now. Yeah, yeah they're going crazy. Hey, they have uh. They spazzing right Freeman, now. Freeman, Mookie, and 
Shohei have like a combined OPS average of like over a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, they are spazzing right now. Um, who leads the league in home runs? Tyler O'Neill. No. Not anymore. Why did that sound like a know. baseball commercial? What? Hello. How many does he have? Um, I think he took the lead yesterday. You sure? I think they're tied. Hello. Yeah, so, so, oh my fault. Okay. Um, so D said it's the apocalypse. The Pirates are positive. Our positive record. My team is actually the Guardians. Some rough blown game, but overall, I'm looking forward to the season. Okay, so I do remember him saying that last season. So Steelers fan, Guardians for um, baseball. Okay. Uh, the my Red Sox are ass. I'm playing. Their their record is good, but they played bad teams. They got. <laughs> Beat the hell up yesterday by the Orioles, which is a good team. So, that, right? yeah, we beat a really good team. I know they do. Like, this is the test for for Boston. They're tied. Oh, really good. Oh, look. Trout and O'Neill are tied. Philly is six and six. Get the. F- huh? We barely beat the freaking Cardinals. Six and six. Yeah, Philly is six and six. I'm six and four, man. I'm six and six. Uh, about to turn this joint into a <laughs> tablet, man. What? The? Hey, there's 162 games. Bro. I there's don't no give way. a fuck. That's, that's the problem with baseball. There's just so many games. I need a net positive of six and zero. Oh. <laughs> they, they weren't supposed to lose so twelve. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> twelve. I mean, that's what I was supposed. to I mean, say. first series we played was Atlanta, so. Here you come. The hell that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the better teams in the league. No. Best team in baseball, probably. Right. And Atlanta. And then we just fit in, get in where we fit in. We're going to make the playoffs, but I think. Oh, okay, D. So, NBA team is Cavs. Baseball team, Guardians. Football team, Steelers. Got it. Mm. Interesting. Guardians are right. Um... The Marlins won a game yet? Um, I think so. Oh, good. <laughs> um, oh, so Ronnie, you said that your team sounds like his team. He said, hey, sounds like my team, too. Uh, we just became best friends, beat, beat bad teams, and think we're relevant. I know. I can't. <laughs> like, I, like, I'll, I'll, like, wow, at the end of the game, I'll be like, damn, we just won. And I'm like, but we beat um, Seattle two out of three, and then we beat Oakland. Oh, two out of four, excuse me. Seattle's not a terrible team, but their offense isn't that great. Their pitchers are looking like aces. Yeah. And then we beat Oakland, obviously, which is not a big mm, yeah. We're in them yeah. Giants right now. They're five and eight. The Pirates is nine and three. How the hell are we six and six? Why do I I have an affinity for just fucking bad teams? Huh. I'm sorry. The Yanks are ten and two. Yeah, they're going stupid. I, what I, don't the... want, I don't even want to look at it. Yo, I feel bad for any damn. Is this yeah Miami? One and eleven. Yes. Yeah, they're ass. Terrible. Ass. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is just that is that is tough. Mm-hmm. Arizona is six and seven right now, and San Diego is six and eight. The Rockies are three and ten. <laughs> yeah. The Cubs is seven Chris and four. Bryant, what Word. The Astros are um four and eight. Yeah, they're not slow starter. It could be the yeah. precedent for the rest of the season. Oh. I forget what team if they lose. Verlander's still in the mind. He's rehabbing or something, is he? He's over, I think. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. In interesting. Interesting. Um D said the only difference you have a better division unlike his. his That's true. Yeah, that division is very. Mm-hmm. I, w- at mid, I would say mid. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. That's a better word, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Pedestrian. Uh, the AL Central. Yeah. The East is stacked. That's the problem. Kansas City's doing pretty good, though. Yeah, I saw yeah. them. They were. Crap. Hold on. Yeah, because I just saw yeah. them. Yeah, they're seven and four right now. Toronto is six and seven. Milwaukee is seven and three. Yeah, I don't know who yelling. <laughs> yeah. Bang! 
Um, yeah, Baltimore right now is six and four. Yeah, Baltimore. Hmm. Okay. So, so yeah. early early start for some teams. Um, I just need Phillies to remember that they're playing baseball and get their act together. Chat. I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. I'm not really sure how football is going to be for me next season. I'm definitely <laughs> on a very short leash compared to two seasons ago when we first started. And I was just like, you know, I was like, yeah, we won the Super Bowl. But hey, yeah, like after after this past season, I'm like, I don't got no. Yeah. And, and, you know, I probably sound like an ungrateful fan because if anybody should be on a short leash, it probably should be Ronnie. No disrespect. No, His I'm team went through a fucking train wreck last year. And there's really not and a bro, good sign, I don't think. And, and bro said he clocked out at, like, week 12. Yes. So Still watch the rest of them. Let me preference it. I had to deal with Bailey Zappi. Yeah. So, I'm, I, yeah, I am on a, for Philly, I'm just on a short leash. Except for the 76ers because I know they're not going to make a deep playoff. No. I mean, I like I love the Sixers, but I just know that they're just the, not gonna... the East is too. There's too many slightly above average teams, right? And the Sixers don't really. Well, my issue, my issue with the Sixers right now is like if there's no Joel Embiid, like there's no team. No, there's no point. And, there's really no point. And, and it really, it sort of pisses me off that that's where sports is heading to. Like, if you don't have your main star, it used to be like. All right, your big three. Then now it's duos. Now it's literally just your your main star and your complimentary picks. I just hate that. No matter what, in terms of just like sports, it, it's it's heading that way. So honestly, that's that's just where I am with with sports. So I'd say, depending on where who Philly gets matched up with in basketball, I probably see them getting bounced in the second round. They'll advance to the first round, bounce in the second round. Well, Philly's got a lot of games to find their groove to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want a crazy hot start in baseball. No. It just means you're going to die off. Yeah. Mm. You, can't that, you can't keep up that pace. Like the the Pirates started off last year, like this year. Mm. Died real quick. They did lose their shortstop star player, but. Gotcha. Okay. Mr. O'Neill. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Just sliding in the home and broke his leg. Yeah. I wasn't laughing at that. I was laughing at what Miles said because I forget. <laughs> so Miles, so this man is um he threw in the towel with sports a long time ago. No. Oh, so yeah. he said, let the boys know I'll watch sports in 2025. <laughs> oh. So we will see you at the draft, good sir. We will skip all off season. Yes. We will see you at the NFL 2025 draft. His team did give a big bag to defensive Josh yeah, Allen. Yeah, Josh Allen, yes. But that man is, like, that man could have his own segment on the pod. Oh, yeah. For how upset he is with L.A. right now. And I'm talking about them Lakers. So, yeah, this man could, yeah, he could have his own rant on the pod. But going back to baseball, is there anything specific you wanted to, any? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Cause um, there's a big deal with pitchers right now. Oh, they getting bags or no? They're getting hurt, hurt frequently. Yeah. What? Yeah, we just started. A lot of elbow, a lot yeah. of shoulders. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Oh, what's his name? Spencer Strider. Yeah. Like number one pitching, um, number one starting pitcher on the Braves. Mm-hmm. Just he's going to get an MRI. I think. I don't know if he did it already. Maybe tore some in his elbow. Somebody else is going in for surgery. Yo, hold on. I do not mean to Kanye you. Uh, Miles said something mad funny. Miles said, Ronnie, I have more faith in the Patriots than all of my teams. Oh, shut yeah. Well, I'm trying to think. Gators football, I agree. He, Jacksonville, I don't agree. Because he rocked with Gators. Yeah, we got Jacksonville. The Gators. He, he, and after losing Ridley and getting mad. I know. And that division, oh, oh, I'm not even, I'm not going to go deeper. I'm not trying to cut to the wound. <laughs> and, and then he got, and then he got the Lakers. I feel better about the AFC East right now being wide open than I would the South. 
it's a it's a it's a dumpster fire in the east right now it but, is yeah it's a mess um but my fault Devin. i didn't mean to kind of you um de go ahead and drop what you wanted to talk about in baseball and i'll pick it up once uh once we're done but my fault go ahead bro there's a big like argument going on with the players association and mlb mm-hmm. um about the pitch clock because they think it's messing up like it's rushing them making it worse like it's it would worse. that attribute to the injuries or that's what they say but i don't i don't think it is i think it's these young guys that are trying to throw harder right it's like if you want to really pitch in the mlb now it's got to be like in the upper 90s mid 90s right and these guys are just pushing it like these guys are talking about like big pitchers like paul Skeens, mm-hmm. like a big dude who just can naturally throw a hundred isn't gonna have problems, but like a smaller guy who's trying to force it is gonna have problems pretty quick. Got you. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> D is that what you meant, bro? Says screw the bankies. <laughs> is that? I, I thought you had something to talk about. <laughs> was was that it? <laughs> no, it's funny. I, like you just had me in the first half, bro. Says screw the bankies. And uh, Miles said, "I watch baseball, fellas. I'm what? I hate that who's YouTube you? does that." Yeah, who's who's Miles got in the baseball? He said, "I'll rock with the Braves since my granddad is a Braves fan." I don't, know. I don't hate the Braves. I really don't. You do for you have obvious reasons. Hey, I don't. Philly, Blooper. I mean, look, I'm, I'm baseball is mad fun to me now that I know what's going on. Before my grandpa used to watch it, and I'm like. <laughs> I mean, I ain't ain't nobody shooting no basketball, or, yeah. but now that I understand it, now it's it's actually pretty fun. I think the first time I ever went to a game in person, I was like, no, this is fun. Because on the TV, I get it. Like back in the day, the games used to take like three hours. I'd be like, bro, Word. I don't know about sitting through this because football, right. it's like you got action every second. Right, right, right. You know, it's slow pitch. Right, oh, right. someone has to tighten their batting glove. But yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's gotten quicker and yeah, it's not, it's, it's enjoyable. I mean, I don't I don't mind it. It's not my preferential sport. Damn. I'll watch. He good? Look, oh, come on. look, man. Seeing how basketball and football are going, I mean, baseball might just be have to be top three. Once the playoffs hit, nothing else matters. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm locked in. Well, right yeah, now, but just... but still, no, but still. Yeah. But then after bas- baseball or basketball. Oh, after basketball, it's like we only have baseball. We right. have like OTAs and football. But I'm not gonna watch OTAs. Right, 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 like, right. Right. You good? You all right? Yeah. Hold on, he said Texas. Oh, you mad funny. Alright, so this is actually so we go actually hold on D. I'm gonna get to that because I want Devin to finish on the baseball because what you asked, you really about to you really about to end this chat. <laughs> Cause we really about to have a fucking debate after that way. Go ahead, bro. Um Angel Hernandez, mm-hmm. bad on. Still absolute dog shit. Um, Blanco, the dude that threw the no hitter. Yeah, no hitter threw another no hitter into the sixth. Damn. Like like, back to back. It's like, oh my god. But Houston's dead last. Yeah, Oof. that does not matter. Um, you got Trevor Story on there. Yeah, Trevor Story's hurt for the rest of the year. Got yeah, shoulder. What? He. So he plays for the Red Sox. He dove for a ball and landed like just directly on his shoulder. Uh, Couldn't get back up. Like you could tell. Was... So he's gonna have surgery. They just signed him to a huge contract like two off seasons ago. He's played like fifty percent of the games due to injuries. So. Sounds like someone I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. I feel bad for him. Like he was crying and everything because you know. He Still, bad, right? yeah. Uh, not really his that's fault. tough. Uh, the A's are officially out of Oakland. Ooh. You have to have that long conversation. You're right. In the next fucking day. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Yeah. So they're, they're moving to Sacramento for temporary purposes. I got to Kanye you. Yeah. Chat, y'all see what we talking about? We need to move this podcast about like three times <laughs> just for stuff like this. To still happen and, the next day. And for it to happen. Do, yeah. do, like that, that, that right there. That right there. All right, D, go ahead. Pile on the questions, dog, because you you really about to have an interesting one. Go ahead, Devin. Oh, oh damn. Okay. okay. 
the gem better. Um, where else is that? Oh yeah, they're playing in a minor league stadium. They're moving from Oakland to Sacramento, the River Cow Stadium. The Coliseum to a minor league stadium where there's like outfield grass where you can buy tickets and go watch them play postseason baseball in the grass. And not only this, they're not called. So they're moving to Sacramento until the Vegas stadium is done. They're not going to be called the Sacramento A's. They're going to be called the Athletics. Yeah, no name. So think about Washington football team, but think about no city name. So this, so this yeah. is the equivalent of Washington? Yes. And we missed the opportunity. Someone brought this up. So Baltimore's abbreviation is B-A-L. Sacramento's abbreviation would have been S-A-C. We missed ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Which are the minor league team? <laughs> oh I don't think there's a no, the uh, Norfolk Tiger no, there. Triple A. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That that is funny. Yeah, someone was mad. They were like, <laughs> "Why would they be called Sacramento? Well, they can't call them Ball Sack." Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it? Um, Phillies Pirates. And so it's crap. So the logo is a yeah. P. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's zero zero, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the annual game. <laughs> Percent of buy depends. Well, Dude, also, wipe. Shane Bieber, same problem. Pitching. Bye bye, elbow. Yeah. Elbows. Yeah. So, dang. So, uh, rip shoulders and elbows. Yeah. Tommy Johns and. Those are like the ACLs of basketball and football. Yes. Good Think Lord. about an ACL for a running back. That's the elbow for a pitcher. Yeah. You need your elbow. And a lot of dudes come back. It's the same thing with running backs. They don't come back the same. Oh, yeah. 100%. Because they're like going deep under. Like, oh, yeah. It's like arthroscopic, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Digging in the elbow. So. Ugh. Uh, Phillies getting their uniforms. City Connectors. Uh, ugly. People it... do not like them. They're ugly. How ass are they? Um, I don't mind them. Here's the problem with the really city. So the city connects is supposed to be like you know how basketball does it too. What is it? What are they called? Um, that's not city connects. What is the basketball one? Like? Ugh, home uh, is it like hometown home, or something? Yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they do it for baseball. The problem with the baseball uniforms is they never stay true to the colors of the team, mm-hmm. which I don't love. So like the Phillies have red. That uniform's like what is it? Blue it's and the, it's the colors of the city flag. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. And it goes from like blue to, and it like radiates down to black. Like that was, ones. I, I was going to say the Philly one, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles one, because they actually had an alternative like the. Yeah. You remember the, you know the ones those I'm talking so about, the, the one that say ATL here, and it goes from like red to black. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, those are. Those, are mine. Really those were ass. There's some way better ones, like Baltimore's are pretty good. I like ours, because it's the 617 yeah, Metro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Boston, the, Marathon. The Boston Marathon. Yeah, Boston Marathon. Boston Marathon. Yeah. It's got the 617 patch on the side. Mm-hmm. Like, Baltimore's are, like, all black. And then if you, like, lift up the sleeve, it's, like, the Maryland flag. But they kept the colors orange and black. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fellas, we're going to have a grand time because DE is loading up these questions. Oh, let's go. Oh, no, no. I'm waiting for Devin because we're, right. we're going to be – no, we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. We're, we're really going to be here no, for wait, a minute. I appreciate it, Devin. It gives us, you know – I only got one more. Um, the Giants traded catcher Joey Bart last week. To who? To Pittsburgh. Um, I think he hit two home runs in his debut. Damn. So they we fucked, already they fucked up. We trading already? Yeah, baseball's yeah. weird. They just trade to trade. Like there's there's a deadline, but it's like when if someone wants to get traded, they'll just. Trade. I mean, we just started playing. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, they'll trade you like before the game. Yeah, there's really not a set. Like, hey, you're not in the lineup anymore. You get your like, football, when you feel that 53 man, like, it's set. And then towards the end, you're like, okay, I need, you know, a replacement on injury or this guy's not working out. But, yeah, like, baseball, we could probably get, like, two trades next week. This is how it goes. It also goes back to, like, the minor league thing. So, like, they're always pulling and then pushing them down. Like, Jackson just got pulled up. It's fucking 10 games in the season or whatever, 12. Which I'm glad in football they do. So, like, practice squad, it's not the same at all, but – it's similar, like, you know, you put someone on the P-Squad, they start performing, they'll pull them up and switch them. But there's not, like, if there was a minor league in football, I don't know if there's enough people that they could put in it, but I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt. Right. Longevity-wise, Longevity wise, yeah, it's because, you know, you feel, you know, five games of a minor league football team, that's a lot of wear and tear on the body, then you call them up. So, yeah. Right, got you, got you. 
Got you. Okay. So this man was uh hitting us up, so we are gonna going to pivot real quick. So these are some quick hitters, fellas. The first one he asks Texas Roadhouse rolls or olive garden breadsticks. Woo! Some quick hitters. It's been so long since I've had olive garden breadsticks, but I'm I'm gonna have to go with them Texas Roadhouse joints. I will too. I love Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, we I gotta to, hit the rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are gonna have to. Yeah, hit we're gonna have those. to unanimous on the the rolls from Texas Roadhouse. from Texas. Where were they Who from? Who cares where it comes from? Like Illinois or something. I, I you know, Illinois what? Roadhouse sounds just them not joints, sound the same. Them joints, them joints busting. Yeah. Uh, McDonald's fries or Chick Fil A waffle fries? Chick Fil A waffle fries. So Chick-fil-A when they when they're both at their peak, I gotta hit them Chick Fil A joints. Yes. No. To, to me, it's weird because like I'm gonna pivot it a little bit. Take like a Chick Fil A sauce or Polynesian sauce. Yeah. Put the fries with that. Yeah. It's better than anything you can put with McDonald's to me 100%. personally. But they're both mm-hmm. good. But I'm gonna go waffle fries. Mm-hmm. You guys like potato skins? Yeah, I've had those. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I like, you like them. Yeah. Yeah. I got flavor to them. I know, because you know what? Sometimes, like, the bottom of the container, they'll have, like, the skins on there. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I'm... Yeah. Mm, hold up. Is this... You're just firing off a random ass question. No, they're good, though. It makes us... So hold up. So... I know. I mean, I was like... Duh. Oh, okay. So, regular M&M's or peanut M&M's? Peanut butter M&M's. The peanut butter ones. If we're talking regular or peanut, then regular. But yeah. peanut butter is... The peanut butter ones? I hear. So, so this is where I'm going to get clowned in the chat because I didn't really eat M&M's like that growing up. I prob- I was more of a Hershey's guy than a M&M sort of. So, um, yeah, I, y'all can clown me for that. I'm don't untub. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight chocolate can be too much. Yeah, yeah, that's why I wasn't really like too big on M and M's growing up. I I always had to have my uh my chocolate and like bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. Worst sports team of all time? Go. The zero and sixteen Detroit Lions. Of all time, I'd also argue Charlotte Bobcats. Uh, I was going to say them or the Raptors. I just forget which Raptors Yes, there was a Raptors team. team. Was that after they got rid of Bosch? Or was Bosch hurt, I think? I think it was after they got rid of Bosch. Are we talking about like... All time. Teams or like franchise? Team. Just team. Like a team from a singular year. (laughs) Bro, why you booing me? I'm right. (laughs) Bro said, boo this man. Get him. Don't ban (laughs) me. I already knew I was about to get some hate mail. I don't know. I can't think of anything. I, I, for baseball, because I'm like, I'm thinking for baseball, because you guys. There's some bad baseball teams that have come out. There was some bad D-backs Ooh, teams. Actually, D.E., I got a question for you, good sir. Are you a PlayStation guy or an Xbox guy? Ooh. If you're a PC guy, that's totally okay. But games. if you had to pick one, is it Xbox or, or PlayStation? Or, or what console do you have right now? But yeah, um, like this worst team of all time. I can't think of one right now. I'm gonna uh, stick with the Bobcats, Bismack Biombo. Oh yeah. Whoever was playing on that team, there's yeah. Cody Zeller there. Yeah, Cody I don't Zeller, know. Uh, Kemba. Kemba. Yeah. Oof, I remember. Um, I Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Oh, MKG. That was supposed to be. Yeah, that yeah. was Jordan's like handpicked yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. That didn't work. Oh yeah, uh, D said the Charlotte Bobcats too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going with that Raptors. Was it Adam team. Morrison on that team? I think still? so. Too. Oh my yeah. god. I'm going with the Raptors team that literally, like after Bosch left, it just. I think Barnyani was on there. Andrea they had some Barnyani, like, yes. uh, uh Jose Calderon. Con- yeah. Calderon. Yep. Yeah, they had some, and I think mm-hmm. Valanciunas might have got drafted a little bit later. He, yeah. Those teams were bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was bad. Yeah, that was... 2024 Miami Marlins. Yeah, they might be on pace for that. They do not. <laughs> yeah. The Pistons, I would have said the Pistons from this year, but they found a little bit of food. I mean, and they you could have you you thrown the Wizards in there. You could. I mean... Jordan Poole said at least we're not. 
Right. Police were not the uh, Pistons. No, that they was turned Kuz. into the Pistons. They got worse than the Pistons. No, that was Kuz who said that. Who was that? Oh, was that Kuz? Oh, that was Kuz, yeah. Kyle yeah. Kuzma, yeah. At least we're not the Pistons. They had the same identical record. Yeah. And then I think they got worse for like a couple of games. Oh, yeah, they yeah. did. Yeah, it was cool. bad. Right. It was bad. Definitely appreciate the uh, <laughs> the questions, DE. If you have any more, then, of course, drop them in the chat. Uh, hold up. Bro said, Xbox, because value in Game Pass is better. I tried PlayStation. Still have the PS4, but Game Pass is too good and definitely not for the players. Or the payers. Got it. Okay. I will say Game Pass for Xbox is elite. To me, like, overall, I've always said this, Xbox as an entertainment system is better than the PlayStation. You can do so much on that. To me, it's like, it's almost like a cable box. Like, I right. plug it in, the apps are all right there. Mm-hmm. Netflix, Hulu, whatever you want to watch. It pulls up easy. To me, PlayStation is more for the hardcore. But I games. have that. <laughs> Do you, do you like, would you, I don't know if last time you had an Xbox, but like the interface, do you prefer Xbox or PlayStation? Man, last time I had an Xbox was 360, oh, and yeah. I was the age of, how old was I? <laughs> I think I was in middle school, high school, like freshman, freshman, sophomore. See, they're shutting down the store. Did you see that today? Yeah. 360 store mm-hmm. is getting shut down. Yeah. So I know, not like I don't know. Around, but, I've yeah. just been I've been more of a PlayStation guy because more of the because what made me become a PlayStation guy was more of the PlayStation ex- exclusives at the time. Yes. Even though Xbox had some games, where I was just like, ah, Microsoft has only these games that Sony doesn't. But then I was like, well, look at more so of what Sony had to offer at the time. Um. So yeah, with PlayStation, um, I got put on to. And they off some games. Uncharted. Yep. Infamous. Yep. Um, God, of War. God of War was on there too. Mm-hmm. Um, what else was on there? Uh, the MLB games are on there for the longest time, only on PlayStation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I used to lean towards PlayStation, but the older I've gotten, I'm like Xbox. Yeah. yeah. I think just after a while, I just became such a hardcore Sony fan because I obviously y'all see I got the PS2 right there, yeah. and then I got the PS3. I think in that room, so I've just always just been a PlayStation connoisseur. I'm just playing. But I've just always been a diehard PlayStation fan. Bro said, you like paying more. I guess PlayStation is for the payers. <laughs> hey, man, you going to respect my Big wallet. Dollars, yeah. uh, you going to respect it into a tap. You going to respect my wallet, G. Respect my wallet. No, that low key sucks though. Cause uh, I now I gotta, uh, I gotta. Anthony, all right, hold up. We good? All right. I'm the. Yeah, I'm not gonna refresh it. We're good. <laughs> uh, 2K, 24 Madden, 24 MLB, 2K, or I'm sorry, MLB 24. All the game. Oh, okay, they're all on Game Pass. Yeah, I, I mean, so. If I pay for PlayStation Plus, I get all those for free as well. So that's um actually do I I don't think so. Actually no, I don't. Oh well, y'all fine. Y'all y'all got it. Look, y'all got it. Um I I still prefer uh PlayStation, I'm sorry. I would too if it was that damn expensive. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can afford a console. Yeah, yeah, that is the thing. They they definitely made it to where it's uh, if you got it, you better yeah. get it because yeah. if you don't got it, you ain't getting yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> it's like the only reason I bought an Xbox. Yeah, because I mean, they're yeah. So, one, you couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. Two, they're way high price. Right. I paid five hundred more dollars, or I'm sorry, I paid two hundred more dollars for this one because it was five hundred at the time, and then um. Emily found it on Marketplace for seven. I was just like, F it. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull the trigger. It's 300 for Oh, you did? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's just how it is. I mean, at that time, I was like, man, F it, because I'm not going to keep playing on this PS4. Exactly. Be, waiting, be waiting 30 days for one update. So I was just like, man, F it. I just go ahead and pull the trigger and just go ahead and get a PlayStation. Bro, I. I pulled out the monitor so I could like start playing MLB again. Yeah. And then on the Xbox, and then I hooked up my PlayStation back to the big TV. Mm-hmm. And I haven't played it in like a year. It's like, oh, you need to do this update. And I, I played it in like 30 hours. Yeah. 
It's not. I can't even like. Yeah, you can't do. You literally cannot do anything until it's updated. Just cut the powers. Like I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's like that's the bad thing between like the four and the five. Like it's (laughs) it's it's just so bad. Like that, like playing on that, because I I feel bad for her because I'm like, dang, I low key want to give you some cash to get a five because like <laughs> she's struggling on the four. Like when she playing Fortnite, everybody's already loaded in. Like she's like mm-hmm. the last person yeah. loaded in, dropping in. Next. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She gonna blow up. Bro. I know. What? Yeah, that joint hot as hell. So mm-hmm. I get it. Um, D said, I will say supposedly Halo might come back to <laughs> he calling it PlayStation. <laughs> Going back to PlayStation and Sea of Thieves drops on the 30th of this month. Nice, nice. A new one? Is that a new one? Mm-hmm. Oh really? Yeah. A new Sea of Thieves? Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there has been a lot of talks of some classics though. Welcome to Sony Airlines. <laughs> this man, <laughs> bad buddy. Yeah, these like he, no, he is right about that because I actually just cleaned my console yesterday because that thing accumulates dust like crazy. And every time you hear like that noise, that's my fan. Yeah, no, yeah. No. So I could cool it down because for some reason these motherfuckers get hot, like accumulate so much fucking heat. The Xbox has a built-in one on the top. I got to buy one. Bro, it's, cra- it's crazy. I got to buy another one to keep it cool. Because one of my boys, his his shit was about to blow up. And then he took it, and it's crazy because he said that he uh he took uh both the things off. He was like, oh, there's no dust. I'm like, bro, there has to be dust. I mean, because I, I, I clean mine regularly, and my shit don't even look like I clean it. Aesthetically, PlayStation, huh? Oh yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, no, y'all right. I got a box. Yeah. Oh, for the system itself. Yeah. I mean, but y'all can literally fit y'all a little box in your bag. Yeah, but that's sick. Bro, the I got holes in the top of it. I gotta show you my freaking <laughs> bag. My joint looked like a carry on. That uh, the the series X looks like a, a cooler. Yeah. No, nah, bro. My PlayStation box. My PlayStation bag. That would literally be my carry on. Like her shit right now, what she got? The thing on her bag on top? No, like if I bought my PlayStation bag, that's my carry on. That's that's considered hers. That's true. <laughs> no, my no for real. Mine would be my carry on, yeah. my PlayStation. That's how big the bag is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just hold up. But um he said, but sixty dollars on PlayStation and on Game Pass only eighteen a month. So with PlayStation now, if we get the year, it's um like one twenty because that's just how they did there. And yeah, actually, let me show. Uh, no, nah, because you watching. So it depends on what pre like what premium you get. So if you do like the basic plan, it's like the cheapest. But if you do premium, and you do like for a year, it's like one twenty. I think. Mm. Yeah. So. I mean, no, he's right, though. It's mad expensive. Like, a lot of times I'll do, like, the three-month. Because it's like, I'm not I'm not paying $120-something dollars for a year. Dang, J.K. getting up there. Good Lord. Where's the blonde hair for the oh, I'm That's saying, bro. That man got the salt pepper joint going. Um, And then D said, I mean, I'd recommend watching the Xbox documentary if you fellas haven't seen it. Yeah, it's on YouTube. It's about two to three years old now, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's still relevant. Uh, it's, it's still new. Are they still as durable as it used to be? I don't know. I was like a big PlayStation thing back then. Mm, yeah, they're still durable. You know what's crazy, though, is if you remember the so the PS3s and the 360. Remember the Red Ring and Death on the 360? Yep. I had one that lasted like five years. I used to leave it on all the time, though, because I'd always watch stuff on it. Yeah. Red Ring and Death. I never got another one. Mm. But like even the PS3s, when you they had a cooling issue, I think. Remember, like the big one was like backwards compatible, not the slim. Yeah, you would go to turn it on, it would overheat, and it would like blink red because mm. it was hot. Mm. I don't know. I mean, like they both had their issues, but yeah, I would say they were definitely more durable. I I typically take care of my stuff before it gets to that point. So as far as durability, yeah, phenomenal. As far as durability, um, I've 
heard people have gotten some messages that their stuff is about to overheat. And um, I haven't experienced that yet, nor do I want it to get to yeah, that point. Yeah, that's I, extreme. You know, yeah, right. So, um, D also said they covering that in. Oh, they cover that in the uh, documentary as well. Okay. okay, got it. Okay, yeah. I just, I, I can see honestly because I always, I always made fun of Xbox players, but I can see why everyone would go to Xbox more than they would PlayStation. All eras of X. Oh, they cover all eras of Xbox in there t- as well. Okay, I had the first one in the 360, but this then is I- like my first. Mm-hmm. Xbox. Yeah. yeah, I had two, three, four, and then I was like, I'm not wearing a five, so I'm just gonna buy the new. Yeah. Right, right. <clears throat> yeah, no, nah, I, I would I almost thought about getting an Xbox like shortly after I got this one, just so I got both. But then I'm just like. Even if I'm not doing anything, I'll most likely turn my PlayStation on and interact before I do anything with my Xbox. The only reason I bought an Xbox is for a game that didn't come out. It hasn't come out yet. What is that? Well, it's football. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I might as well do it now. Right, right. Because you know everyone's going to be on Xbox right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, was, I went to next gen, and I'm like, yeah, I can't afford that's true. a PS5, so I was like, I might as well just get the Xbox. Right. They said, they said June or July is the target date now. Yeah, so. Gotcha, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but I bought the Xbox like a year ago. I know, yeah. Right. Oh, it's about to come out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Psh, didn't even release anything. No teaser, no nothing. Nope. Oh, shoot. It was fucking... did like a YouTube home run derby. Yeah, I think so. I did still got it. Oh, no, because I remember I told you about the video. All three of them, and all yeah, of them yeah. were crushing them. My heart is still got yeah. it. I mean, it was a metal bat. Like, still. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Russian. His wife must have, like, blonde hair or something, because he didn't have blonde hair. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So, I'll just transition over to basketball real quick. So, I'll just go over some of the seating and what it's looking like right now, so I won't go crazy in depth, because um, I wanted to officially hit playoffs i'm sorry play in yeah oh, what the hell is that woman what wearing that outfit? oh wow. my gosh okay sorry Chad. yellow glasses yellow Jeez. dress yellow okay bag. you know what? i'm not going hey it might look i might just be too broke to understand it so i'm just going to put it at that 200 miles down south of, oh uh, see yeah yeah yellow yeah she's sticking out crazy and the girl's got like a purple shoot on it uh, look this might just be fashion mm-hmm. i just might be too broke to understand yeah so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Try like a Versace dress. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah. It's some stuff I can't even pronounce. I'm sorry. Cartier glasses. Oh yeah. That's. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Oof. Oh do I? Oh word. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. No, we're not gonna get into all that. We're gonna, <laughs> no, we, no, we gonna keep it sports. We gonna keep it sports. I don't, I don't want to yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas Roadhouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Now nah, we gonna keep it sports. <laughs> nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's transition to oh, basketball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, we're not gonna get into my debauchery. <laughs> but um. So as far as the Western Conference right now, um, Timberwolves are in first place. Shout out to Anthony Edwards for that 51 piece yes. that he dropped in front of 50. It's funny because I just saw uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. So, you know, the timing, <laughs> timing is literally, up. timing is everything. What's up? Yeah, speaking of that, um, throw back to Easter. You remember, um, who was it? Adebo? From yeah. Friday? Yeah. They said I got shot, what, nine times? Jesus, I was really great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dying, bro. Was that um? Oh yeah, that was the first. That was the first uh, Friday. No, he was like in a church, like preaching. Oh, like, taking a video. Of it. Oh, it must have been old because he he passed. I think, yeah. a couple years ago. Oh yeah. Oh no, that was a. That was yeah. A, oh yeah, that was a. That was a long time ago. Um, but shout out to Anthony Edwards. Uh, Timberwolves are in first place. Are oh, you about to play it? Yeah, I'm about to play it. Uh, fair use, fair use. Fair use, fair use. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, yes, sir. Yeah, there we go. Fair use. Fa- fair use, fair use. Um... The Nuggets, they're in the number two seed. 
Shout out to OKC. They locked in the number three seed. No one thought that they had actually get that far, to be honest with you. Um, uh, the, <laughs> no, my fault. That's funny. Uh, the Clippers, they're right now at the fourth seed. They did currently hold the number one spot for a little bit, but uh, they came back. Uh, Timberwolves came back. Right now, the Mavs have the fifth spot. The Pelicans have the sixth spot, and no one thought that was at all. Realistic. So, and actually, surprising, uh, your boy D Book Dev, they got the number seven spot. Which is actually underachieving for them this yeah, season. What you called many months ago. Oh yeah, because I wasn't too hyped about that Brad Beal trade Where's and the non-existent. Look, look, y'all. A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> I'm that broken clock that was right <laughs> at least once. And unfortunately, my Sacramento Kings are at the number eight spot. Unfortunately, like the beam. I do not think we will be lighting this beam no, with the injuries. Like, what Kevin's hurt? Um, who else is hurt? Yeah, Malik's hurt. Yep. Yeah, he he's gonna return, but mm, we'll see. The ninth spot right now is the Lakers, and the tenth spot is the Warriors. Shout out to my boy Miles. The Clippers are gonna be the Clippers. De, you are correct, yes. and it'll be Boston and Denver in the finals. I agree. I, if everything goes to plan, I don't see that. I, as, I, 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 much at all. I honestly agree. I, I'm gonna call that right now that our finals right now would be Denver and Boston. I will say, if that is the finals, I think Denver wins again. I don't see anyone that we have on our roster right now that can compete with Jokic. I don't think you can, you can trot. Um, Horford out there to compete with Jokic. You had Rob Williams, right. very good defensively. He was probably your best hope because he could keep up with him defensively. He's a good right. dude in the paint. Uh, Porzingis runs the five a lot. I don't think Porzingis has the size to keep up with Jokic, so I think they're going to get kicked. Yeah, because I think because ba- if he's battling and he's supposed to be this twenty point per game scorer as well, no. Jokic is going to wear on him. Yeah. You're going to have to put you're going to have to mix up that defensive uh, lineup to where you're going to have to put multiple bodies on him. Yes. And then someone is just going to have to be your defensive and rebounding we guy. We have tall dudes on that roster that can do, but there's not anyone with that prowess. Body-wise, it can keep up with it. So no. I think that would not bode well. Mm-mm. So, right now, I just want to go over yeah. the um, play-in tournament. So, right now, we are looking at... Oops. Actually... Actually, we're going to skip that. We're... Yeah, we're going to skip that. Um... I really don't want to get into it because I really don't feel like chatting y'all's ear off. So we're, I'm just gonna go over, just gonna go off uh, over uh, Eastern Conference right now. And de, uh, give me one sec, I'll I'll get to your comments. So right now, number one seed in the Eastern Conference is the Celtics. Shout out Ronnie. Number two is Milwaukee Bucks. Number three is the Knicks. I did not think that they would end the season at They're number three. Scary. I would not want to play them at really all at any point. Number four is the Magic. Number five is Cleveland, which we got on the other stream right here. Number six is Indiana. Um, I'm not surprised that they're number six, but I think they overachieved. I don't think that anybody really had them right at number six, but they made some interesting transition. Uh, act- they acquired a bunch of good players throughout the season, so that's actually a. I think they will. I think they will have an interesting run this season. Now, number seven, Philly. Um, they they will play. Uh, we'll we'll wait for the playing tournament to to play out, and then we have Miami, which they are down eleven right now to the Mavs, and then we have Chicago at number nine, who are in the playing, and Atlanta at ten. Stuff is going to get broken if Miami does what they did last year. Oh, 100%. They don't, this, is, this is not indicative of a deep playoff team. They've done this all year. What are they? They're 44 and 35, sitting at 8th. Eight, mm. Yeah. And they did this last year, though, so I, right. I don't know. It's like Jimmy Butler just decides playoffs come along. Mm. Play like my dad, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Miles, Miles said, screw the Lakers. Paul George going to OKC. I don't think so. 
But actually, actually, we'll, we'll, mm, no, because they OKC would have to give up a lot, and they already have a lot of draft capital. I don't think they're going. He did fine when he was there, but I, I don't know. If he'll, if he'll <laughs> Yo, DE is mad funny. Lapuki, where do I begin? You are my, sh- <laughs> my man. Sunshine. Look at this, <laughs> my sunshine. Look at this, my only sunshine. It's a stupid meme. Yeah, where is it at? Miles said the way I feel about the Lakers is the way Sean feels about Professor Jalen Shakespeare. Oh, hurts. Oh, wait, 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 I love the University of Iowa guys. And so you have. Nah, that is. Text me today. It's the LeBron thing. Yo. What is that? And then I sent Herbal up there. Yo, that is mad funny. I, I know. I know you was reading that. But no, I got to tell y'all what Miles just said. Miles said, the way I feel about the Lakers is the way Sean feels about Professor Jalen Shakespeare Hurts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that man, that brother's spitting. Man, I'll get a dub, dub in the chat for you, Miles. I, yes. I will still defend this team with my very being, but I will also slander Jalen Hurts at the same time because I'm still frustrated. But shout out Philly. Y'all know Philly, my team. So once... All right. So with the play-in, I will just do a quick recap. I think... I think Chicago and Atlanta do not make the eighth or seventh spot. I think the way that things are going right now, I do not think that Philly nor Miami will give up their spot. Now, I can see maybe Miami getting upset. With so, the, Philly 7th, Miami's 8th, and then yes. 9th, 10th is Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that, but I think that both Philly and Miami will make it into the playoffs. Chicago, it's a shame with Lonzo. I feel like it's... A different team, Not honestly. Not like a top five team, but a different team. It, it gives the team a different look. A team that could beat Philly. I don't a, know if they could beat Miami because a, comp- Miami's Miami's a, com- really. a competent team. Yes, a competent team. Um, now, Western Conference, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Phoenix, Kings, Lakers, Warriors. Someone got a bounce. I'm thinking... Kings? Uh, Sac, they're out. Golden State, they're in. Lakers against. To me, it's Phoenix and Los Angeles. So, to what? Chat, help me out. And, Ron, if you know this too. So, would it be the seventh and ninth seed versus the eighth and tenth seed? So, would it be SAC versus Golden State versus seventh, tenth, eighth, ninth? So it would be oh, that's the way I the way I've always interpreted it. Maybe I'm wrong. So we got the Suns versus the Warriors. Yes, and then we'll have SAC versus LA. Word. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like ninety nine percent. That's Biblically accurate. I'm not sure though. Oh yeah, the uh, young Trey Young is coming back for Atlanta. So if that's yeah. the case, then the seventh seed would face the tenth seed. So it would be Sixers, um, Atlanta. Honestly, I still give Sixers that matchup. Embiid will be there. He won't. No, he will be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was about to. I was like, hold on, what? <laughs> yeah. So. <sighs> So if I had to pick two teams from the West, I would go. I'm still. I would still go. Uh, Golden State. Well, no. Suns Warriors. Somehow. So then the Warriors and Lakers would have to be both Sac and Phoenix. So the Lakers would play Sacramento. Yes. Done. Um, Warriors Suns. That's a close one. That's like a that would have been like a finals or a Western Conference finals matchup like two years ago. But. That depends on if Brad Brad Beal is there. If Brad Beal is there, then I will put Suns over. I would argue that the 
Warriors, their time's got to be up soon. I know we've been saying that forever, but I think this might be the year where they just they don't make it. So I, I go Suns. I'll go Suns Lakers. Final answer. Final answer. I will. Oh, I just said I can't pick because my streak with uh, ugh, I'm looking like freaking Cleveland right now. Two and twelve. No, I'm sorry. Two and fourteen. All right, so if I had to pick, if the playoffs started today after the play-in for the Western Conference, I got, I got LA being the eighth seed, and I got Warriors at seven. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they, I'm, I'm gonna say they, I don't know. Steph Curry is dangerous around these times. He is. Yes, I know. I, that's why I said, like, yeah. I want to say that their time's up, but you just never know. I I just need to see the avail- – well, no, I don't need to see nothing. If I had to pick, that's my final answer. So I got both L.A. and Golden State making it. Final answer. Maybe. Oh, it's the 9 and 10 seed that play okay, each other? Okay, maybe it's 7th and 8th, 9 and 10. Okay. So – so the Warriors and Lakers. So then I go Warriors. I'm going Warriors. Okay. And then who would play? Then who would that seed play? They then they would play the eight seed or the seven seed. Mm, shout out to Houston. Y'all was fighting for y'all lives and y'all <laughs> got bounced. Yo, and shout out for and shout out to those who uh, came through that. Stream, yeah, definitely a good bit of y'all. So definitely appreciate y'all. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we'll wait on that. All right. So uh, you will probably get back to me on that one. Yo, that is actually interesting. This awesome. Word. Okay, so shout out to Terrell Suggs. Yes. That brother still got that dog in him. <laughs> CTE or an anger, I'm not sure, but yeah, CTE he was going crazy. is an actual crazy statement. What would you say if he was at a Starbucks? Maybe you're someone disrespected, bro. It's possible. But CTE, so seven, eighth, okay. So seventh versus eight. Seventh seed plays the Nuggets, and the eighth seed plays the T Wolves. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it was like I just know what... The, I'll be honest with you, D. After they did the whole play-in, I did not really bother to just understand it because I thought it was dumb. It To me, it was just one more week before playoff starting. So yeah. they, they sort of lost me, but that's just negligence on my part for just <laughs> not understanding. So definitely appreciate you for that. So yeah, that's negligence on my part. So that those are my picks. D, I do agree with you that it will be Boston, Denver when it's all said and done. Now, who will win that? Um, I think as time goes on, I think we'll I think we'll wait for my final pick. So we're gonna go back to the third. All right. So best part of the chat or this chat. Good lord, the stream. I am sorry, y'all. I am slumped. We're going to get into the football hour. I think it's been light news. Oh, yeah. What's up? Uh, Shout out to Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron? His 40 40 year anniversary of him passing Babe Ruth and home runs. Oh. And who passed him? Mr. Bonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought you didn't react, so I was like, yeah, Barry Bonds. Oh, Barry Bonds? Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Say what you want about the steroid era, but baseball was enjoyable. Right. And he still holds like, so many records, though, I guess. I know, yeah. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah. That's probably 100%. Is gonna get touched. Yeah. 2,000. Yeah. That dude was nuts. Trout could hit it if he played like another 15 years, but that's not happening. So basically, the loser of both games, nine and ten, and seven and eight, play each other, and will be the eighth seed. Okay, that's how it works. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. okay, appreciate you. Yeah, to me, I just thought it was just a stupid thing that they did 
because you're really just giving the losing team just a, you know, oh, hey, you get to try again. Because, I mean, there should be no reason Chicago and Atlanta should be competing for a playoff spot. But I get it in times like this because if you look at the Western Conference, you have you have L.A. at 45 and 35 and then Golden State at 44 and 35. So I get it. But at the same time, you you fell in where you got in. So why do you deserve another chance to compete? Hey, I get it. It makes things more interesting. Oh, you hate the play in miles. Well, <laughs> yeah, you and you and I too. Let's do a play in. Let's do an in season tournament. Let's do a play in tournament. Yeah. Let's just make everything a tournament. Yeah. Let's just not take the regular season serious anymore. Let's just do that. So we appreciate y'all staying with us throughout the whole entire pod. We definitely freaks with y'all. Once we start getting this joint up on our feet, we'll start doing some giveaways and some some things to give back to y'all for supporting the for supporting sure. the boy. But till then, we're gonna get off to the best hour and the final hour of the stream. We're gonna get into some football. We're going to talk about we have some signings. We do have some folks who are tired. One of Ronnie's boys. Oh, yeah. What about the Masters? Let's get into the Masters. Let's pivot to the Masters real quick. It started today. Today was the par three competition. Par three? It doesn't really matter. Uh There's like a jinx on it. Mm -hmm. The winner thinks if you win the par three competition, you lose the actual Masters. But it's for like... Um, the players' families and stuff because mm-hmm. they don't have caddies that play it. They have like their family that comes with. So like wives and kids are wearing the caddy outfits. Mm-hmm. Cool. Nice. A lot of hole in ones. Oh sure, yeah. So Masters predictions, favorites, and ranking the entire field from one to eighty nine. Oh, Tiger will be uh, competing in this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but he's probably going to get first cut. Uh, oh, yeah. Apparently, Brody is swole. Ew, yeah. Bleacher Report. Get this shit. Yeah, oh, hell no. Nah. I cannot trust anything Bleacher Report after no. that. That was a disgusting yeah. list that they freaking. Atrocity. Yeah, that junk was trash. You can rip through these names, but a oh. lot. There's quite a few, and I don't know half of them. Uh, the D said Ricky Fowler won. Did he? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shout out Rick. The, um, yeah. Mr. Puma Hat. He won the. Uh, he was leading when I was because I watched it for a little bit today. Mm-hmm. He was leading through three. Mm. He must have. Check it out. So they have. I pulled up a list from CBS. I'm not sure if there is just as reputable. Repeatable. They are for golf. That's their okay. Yeah, got golf, you, got there. you. Because they got the first. We could do the first ten. No, I think Scotty Scheffler's Scheffler. Yeah, well, he's could, up there, but I think but he's like good possibility of winning. How he's been playing? Well, they got Roy. Uh, Roy McElroy. Yeah, they got him at number one. Well, num- really? ranked. A ranked number one. Yeah, yeah. Or no, ten or. Yeah, he's number. They, they got him ranked at number ten, and then wow. they got Scheffler at number nine. They got John Ram at number uh, eight. Rom, yeah. yeah. And then they got Colin. Sorry, they got Colin at number seven. What is his last name? Uh, I was. I'm. I'm trying to read in. Morikawa. Yeah, and then they have they have <laughs> hold on because they got nice one, two, three, four, five. They have six people ranked at number six. No, they don't. Have... Damn, I wonder if it's like a tie thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they got six people ranked at number six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but I think. Scotty Shepherd is one of the favorites. But his yes. wife is pregnant. 
I think. Could be somebody else, but I'm pretty sure it's Scotty. Oh. Um, she's like about to about to pop, and he's like, "If my wife calls, I'm gone. Like I'm leaving because it's four day event. If he gets the call on the course, like I'm gone. I gotta go." Right. People are like, hmm. kind of hoping she has a kid. Right. Right. Um. D said, "I think it's Brooks or Roy's time, though." I'm hoping Max does. Roy. This thing is um, his last name's Homa. Uh-huh. And they, his fans will put a word on the end of his name that sounds really wrong. Yeah. But it's like a joke. Who's makes sense? Who's laughing? Who <laughs> <laughs> who's laughing? <laughs> So I'm going through this list. Who do you say? So either Rory or Brooks. I like Brooks. Rory, he's a good golfer. Personality wise? Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he rubs you the wrong way? He's kind of stuck up because they had the whole, I think it was him, they had the whole, there's like, so there's PGA. Yeah. There's Liv. Mm-hmm. Liv's like the party one. PJ was this shit one. And I remember they combined the uh, last they combined yeah. now. So they're good now, but when they when it first started, everybody on the PGA is like, oh, if you go there, you're kind of like a you're fake. You're yeah. kind of really. Right. And he was one of those. I was like, come on, dude. Money, money, money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you have Tons to your pain. Yeah. Man. And now that's like there's no point. You should have came. Yeah. Because it's it's merged now. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, because I remember we covered that last year. It was a, yeah, it was a not a big uproar, but a lot of people were like, it was like split down the middle. Mm-hmm. Some people were cool about it. Some, Some people, people weren't. Yeah, yeah. I think Rory was one of the ones that weren't and wasn't cool. Mm hmm. AKA groups. So, what I need to do, I need to update myself with some golf so we can talk about it. So you said first it began today. Well, the the real like the the masters like week started today, but like the game like the match starts tomorrow. Okay. It's a four day. Okay. It goes through Sunday. And that will be tough. Excuse me. Yeah, that's like the that will be televised. Okay. Tomorrow is Thursday. Got it. Okay. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Sunday's left. So I will definitely tune in to watch that so I can not look like a deer in a headlight so I can actually talk about this. I mean I so one you're, thing you're you're better watching highlights. Well I it's I love golf. I love playing golf. Yeah. It's so hard to watch golf. Well, there's that's actually one thing I've been wanting to do is actually get into some golf as far as just like playing golf. So I think I need to um Spencer. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. She's gotten into it. Yep. Oh yeah. It's not a, I mean, if you just want to casually play for fun, but then you start playing for fun and you're like, it was fun. I mean. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be, oh, oh yeah. It'd be going in this sweat mode. Yeah, Try yeah. hard. Yeah. It's more. It's not just fun anymore. Like I want to do good. Oh no, y'all be. <laughs> I know y'all be putting a. Y'all be putting those stacks on there. Like yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah I know. That's why. I, uh I be sitting my black ass here. I'm like, nah, I, I know how I'm about to get, how I'm about to be. It's fun, though. They have. Fun, and it also pisses you off. Yeah. They have an app, and it's going to be on ESPN. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and download it so I can. Oh, you got it? 100%. Oh, okay. Oh, so Devin got Favorite. the app. Okay, so I'll go ahead and download the app after this, sh- after our show, and so I can be up to date with everything so I can actually have something to talk about. Golf is for sure a networking sport, yes. and if it's just rela- for relaxing, I know a lot of people like that's how a lot of people go out. Big business thing, yeah, yeah definitely. The it's... big poncho is like, oh yeah, let's go to the course, and then like you know, he starts, mm-hmm. yeah, he starts bullshit with you. Yeah, it's it's definitely like a, it's a corporate sport. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. When I was um when I was working for Aflac and I was uh, prospecting in Vieira at the time, there there was a uh, it was like a bar in golfing course i forget what it was called but it's like tucked way far back you know nice area and everything so 
you know, I saw a lot of nice cars and, you know, I drive my sports Honda there. I'm just like, yeah, I'm sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn. That's a nice car, though. What about me driving that? That's true. It's my, yeah, my range in my truck. Oh, I mean, yeah. compared to what I, levels to it. Landscape yeah, yeah. Ooh, I mean, compared to me, they pretty, probably think I'm overcompensating for something in my Honda. <laughs> like, oh, oh what, you know what, what I mean? Uh, the oh, app, it away again. the app has tradition oh. early in the morning, like seven or something where they have past championships hit the ball kind of, uh, okay, that's cool. She, you see, uh, first two it's it's, uh, it's usually the Golden Bear and Gary player. Nice. Okay. It's a little interactive interactive app. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely. What's the what's the app called? The Masters. Masters. Okay. Got it. Be a little green thing with Got it. Okay. So I will definitely. I'll download. I'll download that after this. Oh, no, 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 Discord, get out of here. All right, cool. Because I hate when <laughs> we be... Oh, nice. Shout out to bro. He threw yeah, the, he the threw ball, the ball in the stands. Yeah, shout out to him. The ball bounced and he threw it back up. Because the dude tried to catch it. It was a foul ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, shout out to him. So I do apologize, DE. I will definitely download that so I can actually have some stuff to talk about. So I will catch some golf tomorrow. And then I'll be more prepared for next week so we can talk about that. It'll be wrapped by then. We'll have a winner. Oh, oh, my yeah. Goodness. oh yeah. 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 We can definitely, we can definitely talk oh about that. Oh, my goodness. So before this gets too lengthy, pause. Definitely just want to go through. Was there anything specific football wise, or are we just really chilling until the draft? I think just. Sean, I don't think there's anything specific. Yeah. Too specific, yeah. I just saw some I just saw some news. Just want to cover some of the news real quick. I know I keep bringing it up, but Ronnie's boy retired. Um Jordan Mylotta from Philly agreed to a three year sixty six million dollar extension. Shout out to him. Kyle Van Noy returns to the Ravens on a two year deal up to nine mil. Um at the time this was last week. North Carolina's state big man, DJ Burns Jr., says he had no plans on playing football. The thing with him, that brother was too large to be playing. Well, not too large, but his build was more of a lineman or a defensive back more than it was your traditional center. Uh, everyone caught wind of that, so they was like, hey, would you be interested in playing football? He declined and said that he wanted to return to basketball. So that um going back to the going back to youtube real quick because de said it's basically the only i hate that youtube okay so this is my issue i know y'all can't see this so this heart basically the only right and then i have to scroll up but that's what i'm saying i it's just the fact that that is there yeah that that's it cuts off so it's i probably saw it's basically the only on and i didn't see right right so i i don't want to try to think i'm slow it's that how youtube has the comments set up the heart is literally right there in the comment section but he said it's basically the only one i watch it's basically the super bowl for golf yeah that's true okay Understood. So I'll watch that then. I'll watch that so we have something to talk about next week. Okay. So the Texans adjust Stephon Diggs' contract after the trade, clearing path for the wide receiver to be a free agent this next offseason. Yeah. So that is actually smart because Buffalo doesn't have to pay him anymore. Um, the Texans only owe him what he is due for the season. And then this is a trial run to see if, hey, do you want to stay here long term yeah. or will this work? And it's out? probably going to, he's going to, he's going to play well because if he doesn't like being there, then he's just going to want to get a new contract. If he likes being there, then they'll work it out. At some right. Point, but... Right. So this actually works for everybody. Yes. Um, Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice was driving the car in Dallas chain reaction crash. And as before we started the pod, he, turned himself in so we will see and keep everyone updated with how far he goes as far as missing time is uh if he gets off scot-free suspension if, or what if, if, Bro, if brody pays him off right now he is currently still on the team so 
There you go. Because yeah. <laughs> if it were anybody else, yes. like uh, that wide receiver, the uh, Lions cornerback, he got released ASAP. Yes. After he, after they found out that this one, I don't think they'll cut him. He took ownership of it. Obviously, it was reckless. I think suspension makes the most sense, but we'll we'll obviously see how that. Goes. He's still on the team, so we'll see. Uh, let's see. Chargers tight end Hayden Hurst, Jim Harbaugh led squad, looking to be tougher, more physical in twenty twenty four. Yeah, we'll see that. Um. Ooh, Marquez. Valdez Scantley pushes back against quote diva narrative surrounding. Oh man! All right, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, false alarm. False alarm. Thank you. That's that's how I felt. Yeah. Panthers defensive tackle Derek Brown agrees to a four-year, ninety-six million dollar contract extension. Brody got that big bag. Mm, Kirk Cousins aims to finish career with Falcons. Avoid Shaquille O'Neal like end. <laughs> They kind of strayed for no reason. Breaking news about 57 minutes ago. I was retiring Caitlin Clark's number. As they should. Yeah. As they should. Uh, Chicago, we need still need to talk about uh, this whole Derrick Rose number situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not retired, but the fans have made it known that anyone who wears number one will get literal hacksaw Jim Duggett. So, yeah. Retire. Throw it up in the rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Hacksaw? Oh, yeah. Local, local guy. Yeah. So, uh, shout out. Shout house was for sale a while ago, I think. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the fans. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Tight end. Uh, Giants tight end Darren Waller still hasn't made decision yet on playing in 2024. He has came out, uh, I think it was sometime last month debating on if he wanted to continue playing i uh i can't understand why because his what the past three four seasons has been injury really yeah it's been a mess yeah. so i i, I you see that understand. video of kelsey plum his wife they were cooking her she was eating popcorn but she was doing it like the quirky like yeah she was like yeah i mean well shout out to her she, she probably the only uh athlete wife that actually has a personality that is true, yeah, because they were kind of like, oh, that's corny. I'm like, well, I mean, she's like, not bland. She's I don't know with that picture with a cigar. Yeah. That is cool, yeah. She's sitting there with like, her legs crossed. Like, yeah. That's just cool. Yeah. Look in, and then look at everybody else's wife. Yeah. Thank you. Well, well besides D. Rose's wife, because D. Rose's wife, yeah, we're not going to get into all that. You check, you check. Cool. Yeah, she's dope. Come on. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, free agent. Running back Dalvin Cook remains confident. Oh, that oh, you still that guy? Hey, well, we'll see because you did get picked up late last season. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Patriots agreed to terms with safety Kyle Duggar for a four year extension worth up to 66 mil. How you feeling? Another Belichick guy they kept, isn't that weird? They've kept like all the draft picks from his defense. Mm. Uh, it's a little high for him, but. He's like there. He's a good safety, so I'm fine with it. If you want to, if because people are like, oh, you're bringing back the team that went four and thirteen, but like there were good players on that team. We talked about that, right? I'm like on a bad team, you still have decent players, so you keep the ones that are decent and get a quarterback and whatnot. But. Damn, my fault. D, did I say something? If Derrick Rose should be retired, I agree because this past season was this injury riddled. Yeah, I think it's over. I think uh, hopefully he he may end up. Coming back next season, but as a great as a D Rose fan, I hope he retires. It sounds bad to say, but like the nostalgia of him playing is worn off. I'm like, let's just like celebrate I, the prime years. I, I just think that like he's I, he did what he needs to do. I know he still wants to be a mentor, but even though unfortunately he didn't want to chip, I think that he completed what he needed to do as a mentor, mm-hmm. as a vet. He proved that he could still play and even though career wise he may have not checked off a lot of boxes, all the stuff that is not seen is has been seen. Yes, 100%. So I agree. Um Saints quarterback Derek Carr, quote, cannot wait to play old teammate Max Crosby in the Raiders. I don't know why you uh I don't know what Derek Carr said that. Yeah, Derek Carr said that. Yeah. He can't wait to? Yeah, no, he said he can't wait. Uh okay. Yeah. I don't know if I mean I would wait personally if I were him I wouldn't be 
excited about that. But why would you be excited about me? He's not gonna dap you up, dude. I promise. Oh look, it's Derek. What's up, Derek? Yeah, no, he doesn't. I promise you, he's gonna spear him in the head. Oh, hold on. Oh, are y'all cooking me in the chat? What did uh, I say? Uh, hold on. Oh, not talking about Dira. Oh, oh, brother, this guy stinks. Did I say something? <laughs> I know Miles PTSD talking about Buddy, the running back, y'all. Oh, y'all was talking about. Oh, Derek Carr, shut show. <laughs> shut up. No, you no. most likely are not QB going forward. Got you. Okay. Car needs to retire for real. He needs, to go, he needs to do something somewhere. That know. is crazy. Oh, y'all talking about Dalvin Cook? Oh yeah, yeah. Dalvin Cook got it, got it, got, got it, got it. Got it. My him. fault. I thought I thought y'all was cooking me. I was like, like my fault. <laughs> what did I do? What did I say? What did I do? <laughs> uh, ex Texans Titans uh defensive tackle Tyer Tart signs with the Dolphins. That was a uh, that was tough. By your tart? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that legit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Cornerback Log- Logan Ryan retires after eleven seasons in the NFL. Patriots, Titans, Bucks. He yep. So he played for the Patriots, Titans, Giants, Bucks, Giants. and Forty ers Yeah, Logan Ryan, a couple of Super Bowls. Good for him. Bro turned into a real journeyman. Uh, let's see. Oof. All right, so new Bengals tight end Mike Gusecki on <laughs> quarterback Joe Burrow. Quote, never been in a huddle with that kind of talent. Uh, I mean, yeah, it adds up. Two and Mac and yeah. what do you what do you think? <laughs> hey guys, I play at Cincinnati. He could have just said that. I would have been like, you do. It's true. Okay. okay, what uh what else did what else did you want to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. And, and shout out to Jags fans because I know I'll be cooking y'all. Uh y'all finally signed the right Josh Allen to a new five year hundred fifty million dollar deal. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Um, that's a that's a big bag for him. Finally, he got paid. Um, also, going off of that, we just found out who our opponent will be in the week one Brazil game. It'll be against the Pack Attack, the yeah. Green Bay Packers. So we will be going down to Brazil for a good old week one streamed, air, aired on probably Peacock or... How's the other one? Amazon. Amazon. One of them, too. Either way, uh, it'll be interesting. Top quarterback prospects, Drake May and Jaden Daniels to visit Commanders. I also saw today that Jaden Daniels visited the Giants. They are trying to throw the narrative out that he wants to play with the Patriots and does not want to go to Washington. Oh, my God. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, yo, shut up. That that was that was that's what they were saying. I think after one of them reported it, but we would like. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play in Washington if I had to pick between New England and Washington. They don't have a very long history of good quarterbacks. Problem. Oh. <laughs> no, D. Mad funny name is Carr. Carr, right? Going to be working for DoorDash soon. <laughs> it's bu- be selling cars. Facts. It's Bungles history is not on their side. Come on now, facts. Yeah. Oh, cars, Toyota. Yeah. Back, of, I used to wear a car on my back. Today, you're gonna wear a car in your driveway. Oh my God. Come on down to Derek Carr, That's Toyota. Something That's something he would say. Oh, um, Miles. Miles shouting out Josh Allen for getting that bag. D yeah. says Bungles go to the Super Bowl, then they collapse. Yeah. It's an organization thing. Um we better not let love cook in Bra- cook us in Brazil. Look, at this point, whatever happens, happens. I mean, I'm I'm a trust in our defense that we're gonna get the job done. But hey, if if J- if Jalen Hurts gives y'all a whole sp- a whole speech on how uh, our biggest fear is not ourselves joint then don't be looking at me next week 
after the chat talking about some yo Sean what happened because there won't be no pod. <laughs> I'm um, you know he's gonna. Uh, I almost like cut a promo. You know he's gonna talk in an interview. He's gonna like pull out some Brazilian or something. I could see it. No, he's not, bro. I could see it. They don't speak Brazilian. Portuguese. Por- Portuguese. Is it Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, well, he's gonna bust it out. He's but gonna... I said it wrong. Okay, so he's gonna y'all... say something like "Thank you for like supporting us." And, so like, us y'all support. can cook me in the chat for that because I was IRL wagging. And, and Portuguese. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, because we not no, we gonna we gonna have to move on. we gonna have to move on from this one because now I'm gonna start getting upset, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because of y'all, it's because of Jalen Hurts. Eventually, I'll get over it. Probably when the season starts. No, but actually, I just don't want to hear that. Shit. Some, like, inspirational shit inspirational in Portuguese. Portuguese. I'm judging, but if he just says thanks for letting us play here. In Portuguese, no, is that no, 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 no. If he said that, no, if he, if he said that in Portuguese, then I'd be cool with it. But if he gave some, <laughs> some Portuguese. freaking, so, uh, if he gave us some word salad bullshit, then uh, then I got a problem. I was up at the um, Christ statue the other day. You know what? All right, <laughs> sunset behind. Good God! I realized that the <laughs> it's not the only thing that has risen. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> oh, so, looking down upon me. Yeah. So, Miles said that, Ronnie, you saw J.J. McCarthy might be a top 10 pick. I actually saw that before I went to the gym. Yeah, this man you, is going to be. Y'all know my stance. Bro said he's going to be a bust like Mac. Yep. Holy bad, bro. Yep. Holy bad, bro. Yep. Done. Do, do, yeah. <laughs> bro said, can't wait for Brazil to be triggered football or football. Yeah. <laughs> football. Yeah. Uh, this is not football. This is not football. Yeah, you know the Brazilians going to be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember when it came out? I think I read somewhere they don't like green there or something. That's their country's flag. Yeah. yeah. I read somewhere that I was like, they don't like, like, don't come down here wearing green. I think it was like, because it's like, that's our color. Mm-hmm. Oh. Motherfucker sent another green team down. <laughs> Two green teams. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're going to wear our all black joint. We're going to wear all, the all black. The package are going to come out with an <laughs> alternate all, all yellow. White. Yeah. You know, all, all white. No, yeah. Black, black. Down there. It's going to be what? Like, man, 300 degrees outside. It, gonna, it don't matter what we're going to be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't wear green. <laughs> oh, my so? gosh. We're, yeah, we're not going to make it to week one. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not making it to week one. Not, not, not on this, not on this stream. We're not gonna make it. Oh man, jeez, dog. <laughs> Former Ravens linebacker Terrell Suggs arrested following incident at Starbucks. Yeah, you that was today. That no, that that's what called, him a, called him a cracker. That's called what, the that's what Ryan, I was called the called the <laughs> called the fellow outside of Starbucks a cracker. No, I said he still got that dog in him. And then Ronnie says something about Starbucks. I said, yeah, he was outside of Starbucks. He had CTE. He called him a cracker. And that's, like the, that's like the generalization. Yo, hold on. So, bro was arrested on Tuesday at Scottsdale Arizona. What the hell going on on my nigga was on charges of threatening and intimidating and disorderly conduct with a weapon steaming from March 10th incident outside of a local Starbucks? Uh, what? Word. It was going down. What kind of weapon? Mm, I'll get in. Yeah, let me finish all this because uh, you know how my computer be. <laughs> <laughs> got the opportunity, right? Yeah, now. yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I'm. Cam. Uh, no, 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 actually, actually, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it for the news. Yeah. It's probably the what is it? The venti is that what people get? The venti, the yeah, venti, venti, no, venti, venti, venti. Fuck! Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> that is mad now. funny. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. According to police incident, Suggs, 41, was driving a black Range Rover that had driven past a drive through border area. <clears throat> Upon backing his vehicle up, Suggs allegedly made contact with another vehicle. While there was no damage to the vehicle, an argument ensued. Um, so for my black folks in the chat, boondocks. Is this a ninja moment? Y'all be the judge. I'm wondering. It had to be a white dude because called cracker. Yeah, he called a cracker. Yeah. Who? What are you thinking? Hold up, cause you gotta care, bro. If he, if I, if I, if he backed into me, and it's Terrell Suggs getting out of the car, like, oh, you're good, brother. Have a nice day. Especially if there's no damage, I'd probably be like, oh, hey, like, what's up? Oh. Yeah. You might be like, you hit my car. Yeah. 
Oh. Now, if he like messed up the bumper or something, I'd be like, yo, I know you have the money. Let's figure this out. But yeah. Okay. Actually, hold on. Let me. Would it help if I. Hold on. Because now I gotta I gotta refresh the chat now. Hold on. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm trying to refresh the chat. You also hear about um the thing Harbaugh's doing with the lockers? No. No. He's putting I mean it really doesn't matter, but I think it's pretty cool. He's putting like the high school ranking on top of the lockers under the names. Hmm. Didn't know that. It's like Khalil Mack came out of high school and was like a zero stars. Oh, oh okay, to motivate him. Got you. Okay. <clears throat> so he said, uh, according to police, a second argument ensued as Suggs left Starbucks and Suggs allegedly threatened to kill the alleged victim and brandished a handgun oh. in his left hand. Uh, the police report stated that Suggs did not point the weapon at the alleged victim, but the victim believed he, he was threatened. Suggs on Wednesday at TMZ said that he acted in self-defense. I was in a quiet area in Scottsdale in the middle of the day in a Starbucks drive through near my home when an incident happened with a vehicle behind me. I was getting coffee. I was not looking for any trouble, Suggs said. When the man in the other vehicle escalated the situation, I feared for my safety, not knowing what his intentions were. Throughout the incident, I was the only one who felt in danger. What? While fearing <laughs> I would be followed home for the safety of my family nearby my residence. What? I if it was Chandler Jones in the other car. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> Coach Belichick. <laughs> you didn't deflate that ball. Uh, all right, so <laughs> the report. In the incident, it sounded like two different things. It sounded like foes got the yapping. They said, oh, we're back. Got out the Thule. Um, Then the report said, I was feared for my life. So, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, um, that's that. So... On paper, it doesn't look like it adds up because you got a six seven former. Uh, this big ass dude was yeah. fear, fearing for his life. Yeah. What, what, what does it look like? And and what you got a middle aged big dog white guy that big dog. Yeah. This is this is what gets me. Where's the report? Man, come on, man. Yo, okay, my fault. So black Range Rover. You told me that thing didn't have rear view camera? 100%. It's definitely not a 2003. It's a new one. So, who didn't look where? Yeah. Thank the you. Sensors everywhere on Come that on, Bro. 150 of them, probably. I mean, if you got a smart car, that shit going to let you know yeah. whether it's rear view, blind side. The Tesla picks up ghosts. Come on, yeah. dog. That should be picking everything. That don't know where you. Where the car is five cars from you. It is. But come on, man. I, that's all I got to say. People are funny. But y'all good? Yeah. We definitely appreciate y'all for tuning in. We had a lot of people come through the, the chat. I do not mean to end it abruptly. We are on two hours and eight minutes. I know y'all tired of hearing me talk. We definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. The final, the votes are in. 75% voted that Jordan Love has to go. And 25% voted Jay Herbo. So, with that being said, since we play him first of the week, he may tuned in. Possibly. So, now I will be watching this good brother throw this football against them birds. CJ, please get, like, two picks. I need you. Please. But, anyways... <laughs> We definitely appreciate y'all for tuning in. We had a lot of y'all come through. Much love to y'all. We will be back next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Appreciate you, Miles, for coming through. Appreciate you, D, for coming through. Much love for everybody who came through. And we are out of here. And we are peace. Oh, nice.